Now, why do you think more doctors aren't doing house calls? Well, I really think a lot of them are kind of afraid to. I think they're afraid to be real people like uh, a patient would expect a doctor to be. And I think they're just afraid to open up and, and kind of go to somebody's house. They want to be safe in their environment. And I really think that's something that maybe they should kind of look different at and, and change their attitude about how they want to approach their patients. They, they just want to feel safe and, and they're afraid to open up sometimes, I think. They, they've kind of lost that doctor-patient um, touch and they, they need to get back in touch with their patients in that. I think they would really enjoy it more. They would enjoy being a doctor again instead of just being somebody that wants to write a script out. <laughs> And you think this will actually help the doctors, huh? Oh, very much so. I you, know, th you know, doctors have a high suicide rate. Why do you think they have such a high suicide rate? Well, because they don't open up. They don't open up and be people. They, they close themselves in. They create blocks. And, and that's part of the problem of not being out to, to go visit a patient at their house and things like that. They need to open up and, and, and be more friendly. Be a people. They're, they're people, too, just like we are. Are. You know, it's just like we're all people. And, and, and to have a doctor, you know, be personal is, is very important. It's almost like they've forgotten why they wanted to be a doctor. And what do you think about doctors and patients who hug at the end of a visit? <laughs> Hugs are the best part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, uh, and you've walked out of there with some balloons, huh? Oh, yes. Walked out with balloons, walked out with hugs. <laughs> and more, more, more than once, I've walked out, of, walked out of your office when I went, went back to go to my car, and, and there'd be somebody else in the parking lot and everything, and they'd say to me, Johnny, you, or they'd just come up to me, wouldn't even know who I am, and they'd come up to me and say, you sure look like you're happy. And I said, I just went and saw my doctor. And then they automatically said, well, who's your doctor? <laughs> and I tell them who you are. and, and that, and they said, well, you just look like you've had a good time. And I says, I always do when I go see my doctor. <laughs> that's and, that, and that's happened. That's <laughs> happened more than once. <laughs> you know, people, or well, even when I go to the bank, you know, or I, I talk to people after I've gone and done my visit, you know, they'll just say, you know, you really, you just feel like you're, you're a whole different person. You feel really uplifted. And I, and I tell them I am. I've had people, you know, that have driven me back and forth for my visit because I, I haven't been able to do my drive all the way, you do the 100 mile drive. And when I come back out of there, they said, are you sure you went and saw your doctor? You're just too happy to go to the doctor's office. <laughs> oh, no, I saw my doctor. And, and it just had a great time. And it always is a great time. I've never, never left your office even when when I've when you've told me something that I may not have um, you know known what was going to happen or something like that you know after you've talked to me about it I can leave and I feel good I know that I've, I've you've set me on a path to make things better if I've had something that's discouraged me and you know that's something that's really missing in a lot of doctors they don't take time to, to talk to their patients they don't take time to actually treat them like a person they just you know an account number to them and, and they in and out real quick you've always taken time to talk to me as long as I want to sit and talk and and you may have somebody sitting out outside waiting for their appointment but then again you go out there and you tell them well it'll just be a little bit longer and they're happy they're happy because they know that when they get they, their turn they'll be able to sit and talk to you and, and talk to you about things for as long as they need to to be able to feel good about where they're at too so don't you think this is the best job ever? Oh yeah, I think you got a good job. <laughs> I wish I wish maybe way back when if I was going to be something, if I could have been a doctor or something like what you'd done, but it was always before when I saw a doctor, it wasn't it didn't a good, make you want to be a doctor. It didn't, huh? it was, I always kind of thought that isn't what I want to be, <laughs> you know, and I always felt like I wanted to be a good person and you ended up being a doctor who's a good person and that really means a lot. That just means a lot, you know, because I know it comes from the heart instead of coming from the pocketbook. <laughs> making me cry <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth <laughs>
It is. <laughs> You've done a lot of good to, to, to shit for a lot of people in that there. And hopefully you can do good for doctors too. Yeah, hopefully I they, think they all want to be doing this. You know, hopefully they can uh, have sit down and talk to you and, and kind of see that they don't have to be under all the stress that they're under. That sometimes they create their own stress. And, it, and if they were just to kind of change their attitude, how they go about things, they would have fun. They would enjoy going to the doctor's office. Office. That's where they work, and they would enjoy you. They'd wake up every day and go, "I'm ready to go to work. I'm happy. I know I'm going to feel good about going to work today." And you know, feel good about what they do, and that's that's important. They need to feel good too. Besides having a patient feel good, the doctor's got to feel good because if the doctor's not feeling good for any reason, that's going to carry over to their patient. They they won't be able to, to really treat their patient the way they should be. Yeah, if they feel depressed or burned out or suicidal, what what kind of health care is that? Right. Where, where, where do you get, how can they help somebody else when, when they need some help themselves to be able to get through things? When they, when they If they just looked at things in a different way, they would be able to say, hey, I can change this. I don't have to be this way. I can be happy. I can be excited about seeing my next patient.